And I pretend I'm in control Just like the seasons You're taking the time from me, but no what is up my lock loves welcome back to the channel if you're new hit the subscribe button so you can be part of the lock love crew yes i have another twist video but i promise you this one here got some additional tips and tricks i promise you i will not give you the same video twice um before we get started we're going to look at the hair that i use and it is by etsy hair oh I love Etsy hair. They have great Afro kinky bulk hair. I trust them. I love them. I use them very often. The type of hair that I use is the 12 inch Afro kinky bulk hair. Um, you can get shorter inches uh, because you can always build your length. But I prefer to just get the 12 inches natural black. I usually get 10 bottles because I do hair. But if you don't do hair, you just want to do your hair or just one person's hair, two bundles will do. I use two, two bundles with uh, people who normally have thin hair or want shorter limbs. If you have thicker hair and longer limbs, I suggest getting the four bundles. All right. And just a few things about Etsy hair. They, uh, of course, is human hair. It's Afro kinky bulk. It is what I use with my own clients, with my own self for that Afro kinky, you know, super, super curly look. Um, so like they are mentioning, they have 30 grams per bundle. 30 grams is a lot of hair. I only use two for most clients. Again, it is 100% human hair and it can be bleached or dyed. Yes, I bleached or dyed etsy hair myself i promise you this is 100 percent human and you always do the bleach test to make sure and it always passes all right we're going to keep on going down another thing they do provide actual locks um and the 12 inches is the stretch length it's not the length that you physically see but when you stretch it it is actually 12 inches and you will have little small uh, pieces in that 12 inches, uh, but the majority will be 12 inches. If you're interested in purchasing with Etsy hair, you can use this coupon code to get $10 off your purchase as long as you buy more than $99 worth of hair. All right, now let's get into the sauce and the reason for this video. Now, I've done a few twist locks extensions on clients. And, of course, you know, the more I do, the more I learn. And the number one complaint about these twist locks was that the hair slipped. Oh, man, we don't want slipping. So, what I've done is thought of a way to stop the slipping. And it is to braid the roots first. Yes, ma'am. When you braid the roots a few, in, like an inch or so, it's going to lock that hair in. I'm going to show y'all what I do. But this is how I was able to prevent the slipping. And especially for my clients with that baby soft hair and also shorter hair, uh, this works great. So um, braid, the, braid the base. And um, you see, it's very uh, a very small braid. Now, if you have short hair, you want to kind of braid all the way to the ends. And um, you know, if you have really really soft hair, you know, if you're just nervous that your hair can slip, you want to braid a little bit more than um, an inch. Maybe you want to try to braid two inches worth. But yes, so what I like to do is just part the hair. And I just do a three strand regular braid about an inch down um, because her hair is pretty long here. Now don't worry, my people all the way in the back, we're about to get close. 
Now I'm going to have someone in the comments talking about my party. Don't talk about my party. I suck at partying. That is something I'm going to work on. You just part the best that you can. <laughs> um, but yes, don't don't talk about my partying. The, the main goal of this video is to teach you how to get these things to stay in, not to not how to part. Okay, thank you. Since I think you all got the point, I'm going to go ahead and speed this video up. One good trick, if you're doing it on yourself or anyone else, you can go ahead and um, break down, part and break down all of your sections or your row. I feel like that's a complete time saver when you at least have your parts done and you have this braided part done. So go ahead. You can either do it section by section or row by row, but I do highly suggest getting your braids in and then we're going to go ahead and focus on the twist like we're about to do right now all right so what i'm going to do is crochet the smallest piece of hair look look how look how small this piece of hair is uh we're going to crochet that into the base of the root and surprise we have two methods for this you can braid down about an inch and then twist that's method number one I promise you my shoulder will be out the way the other the other uh, visuals but here I'm just to and twisting so I have two methods to install or or put the hair into the braid and I have two methods to add length into the, the twist y'all you can't tell me I'm not giving y'all some keys right now keys so we're going to add some length and what i'm going to do is take another small piece of hair and i'm going to braid it into the twist so i attached a piece of hair to one twist section <laughs> and then i just can then i just braid it down about an inch and then i will twist on down i hope you all can see because i can't explain it <laughs> that well um but it's super easy so this is method one of putting the hair in which is braiding down from the root and also method one of adding length which is braiding the hair into the twist and then continue to twist i promise you these twists are so tiny you cannot see that braid and since i don't braid that tight at the root i do like to go ahead and enter like a few passes at the root and it gives it that locked look so alrighty after this interlocking we're gonna go ahead and go to method two which is taking another small piece of hair crocheting it it in at the root and instead of braiding down we're just going to simply start our twist right there we're just going to go ahead and twist so basically one um, part of the twist will be with her real hair and the other twist is with the extensions and you just twist on down um, because you have that braided base, this won't come out either. All right. So we're going to twist. And then I want to show you method two to add the length in. And um, it is also to twist. So this method, you twist very, very tight in the same direction. And, you know, you twist as you twist. If you're familiar with Senegalese twist, that is the method that I'm using. Twisting while I twist uh, a few a few times, about an inch as well, and um, that is how I add the length.
I'm getting you to do a quick few passes of interlocking the roots. And I'm actually going to show out those two methods again. Um, we're going to start again with the braided method. But just because I'm doing braided and braided and twisted and twisted, uh, you can you can mix and mix and match what you want. If you want to do braided root, twisted, add in length or twisted root and braided, add in length. Do what you want. <laughs> so again, we're gonna go ahead and take the afro afro kinky bulk hair, braided in to her natural hair at the root. A few passes. The same amount of length that I braided her natural hair with is what I'm going to go over with the Afro Kinky Bulk. And I split the middle piece into two and I just twist on. When I add the length to this twist, I'm going to also braid in the hair. You have to make sure this is a very tight braid because even if you don't have slipping from the root, you might have slipping from adding length. So try to keep this braid very tight and if you need to braid multiple passes definitely do so before you go ahead and split that hair in two and start twisting again Back to method number two or the twisting method. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a small piece of hair again, crochet in at the root, and simply just start twisting. Now back to method two of adding length. We're going to take the same amount of hair or maybe even smaller. And um, we're going to twist, twist, twist. So what I like to do is actually twist to my left on both sides. After I have both sides pretty much nice and twisted, then I will cross over to my right to keep that twist tight. So twist, twist, twist as you go as well. And um, that will give you that nice tight twist there that will keep that length. This also could slip. Um, so I don't have a preference on if I like the braid method or the twist method. I'm waiting to interlock her hair again so that I can, you know, observe which method held the best or if they both hold the best. But I think you know, for adding length, both are great methods. All right, y'all, that's pretty much it. Just to give you a close up on the two methods, 
you can kind of see which one is braided and which one is twisted in at the root. You can definitely see the braids at the root. And then looking more so at the added um, pieces of hair, here you can see the braids are here and the twists are here. As always, I hope you all learned something, enjoyed the video. If anything, laughed along with me. Her hair came out so freaking pretty. Again, I used two bundles of the Etsy hair. It's about 12 inches. So try it out and make sure you tag me.